checking on if everything is a okay on my end and i believe we can get started with our matchup here on the side of mmk it's gonna be dodge this redux rebirth jar and billy and dinks on the other hand here for the attacking one any it's at staring all eight inches sangla galley scra and chen Li. so i i remember casting for all eight inches and in scra yesterday in the uh, what do you call this? WTF OW Pugs. And again, this team mixed up from so many various regions, but we are going to give them the Singaporean flag as a majority. On the other hand, of course, MMK, all PH, all the way. Sadly, we do have some latency issues right now, thanks to the weird routing from the Philippines. So hopefully, it doesn't detriment to the action too much. But let's get into it. MMK, 1 and E, ready to go. Welcome to the old edition. This is round number 5. And I believe MMK with a... Is it either a 2-2 two -two or a 1-3 scoreline right now? On the other hand, 1 and E in a similar situation. We can check that out later. As we will see a GOAT's composition here for the side of 1 and E. Scroft gonna be on the Reinhardt. Tossing out the Fire Strike for the time being. On the other hand, MMK gonna do the exact same thing. And it's gonna be a Reinhardt out in front. A 4 MMK and they are just trying to defend the gas station up on top giving a lot of space interesting though It's gonna be the diva now dropping on down dodge is gonna go for the engagement and here comes a push on in Rebirth all the way in the back and Dinks is actually gonna get a teammate along the way There's the mace to the face and Rebirth just hopping around dodge is though good charge on to galley And here comes the Reinhardt now going for the push on in by grenade connecting on the scrap the red Reinhardt in a spot of trouble Gonna get swung on from dodge this there's the fire track now on the Asterion and MMK able to hold on for the time being Air Chatter is available here for the side of the PH squad and the first defense able to hold. Congratulations to MMK, but the fight is not over yet. This game is here for the long haul, guys, and we'll see if it will actually work out in the favor of MMK. Or will 1 and E be able to actually burst them down? They do have the Shatter available and they are gonna go inside the tunnel way this time, looking to go for a flank. But MK already on the high ground, seeing everything that is to be seen in the Grand Canyon. Now, Dodge is gonna be the, focus, the star of the show this time. He has a Shatter available. Scrum might be able to counteract in kind, ready with the stun. There's a fire grenade on the two, and it's gonna be Billy now trying to keep everyone alive as Dodge this is to the floor. Nana boost on to Redux this time, and here comes the push on in from the side of MMK, the mace to the face, looking for a punch or two dodge this out in front force these fire grenade i forced the back on out thanks to the fire grenade here comes the sound fire now from jordan and dodge this as well with the shatter on the five pretty big stuff here from mk self the truck into the back line and the brawl just working out in favor of the ph squad they're gonna back on out this time jordan just popping the sound fire they're allowing mmk to play the aggressor and kudos now to the ph squad on the other hand one and e playing it quite disciplined they still have their graviton surge as well as their bomb win condition if i may say so they can go for the grab bomb combination at any point on the other hand mmk back on the high ground with billy now ready with the graviton surge scra going for the push on and dinks on the other hand hopping around and here we go with the flag graviton from behind even with the sound bar, with the speed boost rather from jordan and it's gonna be a counter grab now from the side of one and e dodges though has to turn it around protect the bomb one for one trade so far and mmk trying to do just defend this corner line but it's gonna be give space given here by the side of the defense as they do have to back on out as the Reinhardt is really low there's the top up now but there's the shatter completely with by scroll one for one trade one more time and both sides are quite evenly matched in this fight but a nano boosted Reinhardt might be able to change things for the better here for MMK going for the swings all eight inches gonna hop around the diva trying to get away and this is gonna be MMK able to hold on for the time being so a minute remaining here on this attack, 1 and E having the one map advantage but now they still need to get the first point here on Route 66. They have the rally right now but they are running out of resources thanks to that last fight. On the other hand, here we go with Redux endings ready with two ultimates. MMK having so many problems out of the game but they are having a great time in the game. Subtruck though coming on out from Dix into the back line. Sangnala putting up the barrier there to stay alive. Graviton Surge now coming up though from Billy and there are the swings from the hammer 
face to the face one more time. Chivalry Medieval Warfare right here as Billy gonna get two. Oh, the only one left gonna be Chandley and MMK winning out that fight a little early for their taking. So the thing is, when you are at la one minute mark, you wanna stall out for time so you can be decisive with the last fight. But uh, one any &E having one last chance. Scra going for the charge on in. Trying to drop on down to the payload, but it's too late. The Reinhardt and the Brigitte just too far off. Chenley, the last one to get staggered. And just those small, small things done by MMK win winning them out in this fight. MK now gonna be on the attack and I thank you guys for tuning on in I wish we were able to promote this a little more but the circumstances aside we needed to focus on that for the PH quadrant if you guys do want to just share it to your friends that this stream is going on right now the best of the PH that has what they have to offer versus a great mixed squad of one any and again i have these seen these players from one any all around the competitive ladder and i feel like they can bring up a good fight but mmk right now just able to steamroll able to win it out and it will be able to just go for a short push to victory if they can make it happen so it really is just a gas station escapade here for mmk look how close they need to do this this is really just mmk's to win and if they throw then this is gonna be a series that they might be losing in many many you know missed opportunities to say the least on the other hand i guess one any trying to shake out the ring rust and gonna go for an interesting composition they have scra on the orisa and sangla on the reinhardt what uh this is a very Interesting composition. I think it's a little questionable on what they're try trying to do right now. They are gonna have an Orisa Roadhog pair. Oh, they even have a May. What is this lineup? Five. This is a very new lineup for me. I have not seen this lineup ever. And I now, I'm now a little biased over one any because I want to see this one work. I want to see creativity flourish, but we do see the meta here from the side of NNK. The Tunaway, the Tunaway defense here looks like they're going to be prospecting for gold right now. Scra with the contest, and ah, I see. So Scra going to be contesting with the Orisa, Fortify gets the barriers, and it's going to be a pretty tight defense here for the side of one any They go for a turnaround play, dodge this though with the charge on, and Bar Grenade is huge coming on out from Rebirth, and the bro in the hall but Sangla and Asterion gonna get to. I think MMK needs to go back on the drawing board. Revert with a really really great buy grenade there but they don't get any kills out of that one thanks to the tankiness inherently by the Orisa and the Roadhog. The Reinhardt able with the shield as well and in this situation you need to go on. This Junkrat is completely necessary right now. I would even surmise if they should go for a Sombra, get the EMP, hack around the map, just control it as much as possible. So MMK right now just making it rain some grenades. There's the ice wall from Asterion as well. Hook attempt and Redux almost dying, but Reaper does get a takeout out the one. Digs with a self-destruct into the thick of things and it gets barrier bust onto the Reinhardt. Now the action is so close that even the camera is struggling to actually follow this one. But coalescence there a little too late. Digs gonna be able to take care of Sangla. A pocket play here from 1NE. And here comes a blizzard right now to dissuade MMK for going for the fossil fuels. Asterion though looking for another target and the May out in front. Billy now Nano boosted up and here comes the blue team of MMK going for the push Chenli hammering around with the mace but he will fall to the hand of dodge this here comes scroll one more time Sangla gonna march on in as well but all eight inches running out of room looks like he's going soft in this one guys as the graphon surge gonna suck into MMK now close to the end and that should be them taking the win here on the 66 a great round overall and one and e showing up with something from the drawing board, kudos to them for playing this creatively, but in the end, this is MMK taking the win 1-0. So this is round number five of the open division. We had the first four rounds of the OD uh, back then in December, but now we are just waiting on for these rounds to come through. 
So if you guys don't know the story about the first season of the 2019 Open Division, it started on December 2018 and took a Christmas break after the first two weeks. And now we are broadcasting it one more time. I took a break as well for December after Ashes to Ashes. But now we are going to get back into covering it for the C audience. And thank you guys for tuning on in as we can get underway between these two squads one more time. Here for the defense though, 1NE gonna be playing a standard GOATS composition with Skra on the Reinhardt on the other hand. MMK, oh, are they actually gonna consider this? Billy gonna be picking up the Widowmaker as is his tradition. Gonna be pretty stellar on the DPS. Dinks, very very flexible for the team as well as Redux. The two flex players for MMK swapping around support and DPS as well as tank. So Dinks is gonna be on that Diva. Billy actually gonna go on the Zarya. Redux on the Brigitte. And we will see a mirror matchup here on the cold cold streets of Moscow. But anyway, we do have Billy now charging on in. And here comes MMK through the right hand side. One and E backing up slowly, giving some space, respecting MMK. But here comes Kra now. And there's gonna be a bar grenade on the Billy can. And one and E actually capitalize on that one. Unfortunately, the Zarya gonna be able to stay alive. And one and E just ba hanging back, playing a little passively. That could have been an opportunity there that any other team could just pounce on. But one and E playing it a little more safer could actually get it into the next one. Because Billy has a lot of energy. The Zarya right now looking to melt him out. Look at that. 100 energy here for the Zarya. Try to melt now. So, gonna be a shatter attempt from Dodge this, but it does get blocked by Skra. And Anna boosted Reinhardt now swing away, but Dodge this with the D mech onto all 8 inches. Shatter now connecting all to the stairway. And here comes 1 and E climbing up the stairway to heaven. They get 3. Some trades happening here between the two squadrons, but MMK still in this fight with Billy and Dinks just doing the damage that needs to be done. The Zarya right now tracking along for the ride. Can Chen Lee stay alive? Sanglila onto the point as well, having the same situation, but Billy just a little stronger there, pointing and clicking his way to victory. Now the Zarya and the Diva now going for the capture. Can one and he contest one more time? Chen Li is waiting for his team to get in position as the first tick is taken. MK right now waiting on as much as possible and we have the soundbar here from Chen, uh, Chen Li 1 and E going for the fight one more time there's gonna be a rally right now a fire strike stricken by Skra as well Billy though has charged up the Graviton surge to the maximum and MK looking for a kill but it's gonna be all 8 inches with the self destruct it's absolutely nothing and MK now with a double kill and the rockets fly from the diva now for the squadron of the PH they are just waiting on looking to get these kills through mechanical skill alone not even using their any more ultimates good discipline right now from the attack and this is gonna be MMK's to win a very valiant defense there from 1NE and perfect timing from Chen Li with the sound barrier but it's just not enough MMK a freight train waiting for another station so again thank you guys for tuning on in and remember stream delay is applied in the open division so thank you thank you guys I'm just giving you thanks for actually shopping by yes there's a sub truck now from Dinks looking for a target Sagnil gonna get stunned up here comes the graviton surge on the Billy dodges with an attempt but Scraw one more time hitting the Ting Ting able to block it out Joran though with the kill on the Chen Li there's the heals coming on out from Rebirth as well Nana Boost is available and here he goes with the oh, empowered Reinhardt Billy though with a takedown now on the Scraw and the Zarya now looking for another target he has been absolutely stellar here on the Zarya going for another takedown graviton surge in full force Chen Li hopping around but again the Lucian now gonna get stifled and MK looking for the first point first tick now taken here by the PH squadron and damn that boop from Dinks making that one count Scraw just gonna go for the pop 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 down below and that's gonna be the round first full capture here by MMK Stella MVP on the defense, I would give it to Chen Li on that Lucio, able to stay alive in a good attempt with the Sound Buyer, but MMK able to f just have a field day. And the biggest thing, the, honestly, the, the tidal turning point there for 1NE and MMK was 1NE getting by grenade onto Billy, but were unable to get the kill. Billy was at what 25 50 hp and if one and he got that kill the zarya could not steamroll like that with all that energy so a good effort overall from both squadrons but mmk able to just survive that was the biggest thing that they did they survived longer they survived better and they survived with their key members to make that one happen so now five minutes on the dot here or your pizza's free from mmk
So this is map number 3 guys, again the score is 1 to 1, MMK defaulting the first map true to a few issues but now they did take up Route 66, on the other hand 1NE waiting on for their attack we already had an admin drop on by and this is the situation we are gonna be in and i really hope that one and e can go for a good attack as well give us a good little fight but we had do have the 3-3 composition again for these two teams honestly it's not really uh it's not really as powerful as it was before especially with the brigitte changes but everyone has grown accustomed to it and it's very very strong still easy to run gonna be very very micro intensive looking at these resource management and that is the crux of the goats composition in the first place so mk right now waiting on here by the side of the point they'll be doing a similar defense as one any so i already have a feel of deja vu with the colors changed instead scrad though going from the left hand side good speed boost now from chen lee gali gonna be on the right hand side but gets melted down by billy a little too forward play from diana gonna get punished billy now with a double kill joran we're on the right hand side going for the aggression gets rid of sangla but redux gonna get caught off guard so mk does lose one so one any having a small little window of opportunity as they are gonna get picked off one by one one more time from mmk Side. So Jara now gonna be playing the Uber as the Shatter is available here for dodge this. Gali gonna switch on over to the Zenyatta and I like this here for one NE. For the Goats, there is a rock, paper, scissors dynamic. Moira usually loses to Ana, Ana usually loses to Zen, and Zen usually loses to Moira. But one NE going for the mismatch, trying to make this one happen. It, some more damage being done here by Gali, and we'll see if he can make it count. Fire Strike now tossed on out, and MMK gonna go to the left hand side. Redux with the shield bash as well, and there's the Shatter now connecting on to the Brigitte. Will he die one more time? Sound is off from Vince, cuts for big bomb, big play there from the side of MMK, and that's gonna be a pretty much a highlight here to check out. So, one more time, let's look at this one. MMK making it happen. Perfect positioning there from Dings, just tossing out the bomb. Skrull went for the commitment with the Shatter, but he was too late to protect his team, and it gets four lands on top of the Reinhardt, rather. So as we are gonna say hi to Dings right there. One NE gonna go for the same approach one more time. All eight inches on the high ground. by grenade onto two. Sangle now really low. Gonna drop on down. And here comes the Sandbar as well. Redux though popping the rally. And MMK going for the swings as much as possible. Oh, good eat. A great eat there. Coming on out from all eight inches. He's just gonna take that one. But looks like Volskaya Industries might be the corpse of the blue team. No, never mind. Here comes the transcendence now from the side of Gali as well as the Sandbar from Joran. So counter ultimates here from both supports. Redux though just Swing away with the mace. Good shatter there from Scar, but he's unable to actually capitalize and he's gonna get taken down instead. A nano boost on to uh a nano boost there coming on out, I believe, but Rebirth already dying. So for MMK, this might be a war of attrition because they're losing Lembers left, right, and center. Redux now alongside Dig staying alive. And looks like the diva just gonna back on out instead. So the first dig already taken. Can MMK pull a 1 NE and go for the contest one more time? No, they do back on out all the way to the second point, and they are just gonna wait on for the advance from the opposing squad that was just one and making that one happen by sure force of will Scra even getting countered after the shatter but it was just enough perfect timing there from galley and the biggest thing was all eight inches with the dm making uh a cancel there onto the gravity surge of billy just getting a nom just being the pac-man that he is a stare now with the shield bash attempt doesn't get it out oh another was that another one there no it's this time it's gonna be dinks eating up the one from sangalop and mmk able to just go with the momentum gonna get to these two divas just playing the defense matrix to a T, holding the right click strong. And speaking of the clicks, here comes MMK now going for the push on in. They clean up. Chen Li now gonna go for the reset. And I guess Dinks was like, if all eight inches could do it, I can do it even better. So both Zarya's unable to make their gravitons count. But Billy this time gonna be playing a little more wary. Gonna look and see if they can actually get the group up in. So things interesting enough did not go for the reset, went for the call mech back up, and we will see MMK in full force. They have decided to switch on over to an interesting composition, gonna be playing no Brigitte, Redux gonna be on the honor, Rebirth on the Zenyatta. So this does mean there's a lot more healing as well as 
utility here for the side of MMK at the cost of no stuns, no armor. Can they actually make this one count? Things already running Gali over, dodges with the charge on in as well. Rebirth all the way in the back, and it looks like MMK MMK supports are just gonna chill out, gonna look at the point and let their children roam. On the other hand, one NE looking to go for the regroup. They are running out of time though. Uh, they are at 335 and they do have a pretty significant time disadvantage to say the least. A minute and a half already in counting. Sambire in the palms of Chen Li and he has been pretty exceptional on the Lucia so far but here comes Asterion alongside Skra Sangla pushing on in as well MMK now on the high ground and we do see some shots going their way there's the fire strike now tossed on out by a grenade gonna be returned to the side of 1 and E and it's, here comes MMK going for the push but Dodge is gonna hang back by the point instead not giving chase inside the med back room so a quick little rotation here from MMK as 1NE went for the flap. Self-destruct now coming on out. Gonna lead to a kill. No, not this time. Graviton Surge though. Budging everyone up. And Billy gonna get three. Looking for another target. Just gonna tear apart all eight inches. It just it won't fit, guys. It just won't fit. And there's the sleep dart connecting. Redux gonna get that takedown. Team kill going the way of MMK. So let's just watch that fight one more time. Self-destruct attempt. So it was a grab bomb there from MMK, not working out. Perfect timing there from Scra to get the barrier just in time. And the biggest deal is MMK cannot do anything about the barrier in that fight due to the fact they do not have a Brigitte. But 1NE now still on the back foot trying to go for the advance. Here comes the rally now coming on out from Asterion. And they are putting up a fight, but they are still struggling and making this one happen. Dodge is now Shatter almost dying. That was very dangerous there from Dodge this, but he makes it count. 1NE unable to capitalize on the overextension. Extension. And now here comes MK going for the push on then one more time. Nanabu's in hand of Redux, but he doesn't have sidelines of the Reinhardt. MMK overextending there a little too confident in their skills. But in the meantime, here comes one and he's gonna be a big bomb possibly from all eight inches. No, gonna be the bubble there. Scra with a charge onto the back line as well, and he gets torn apart by the damage from MMK. Redux with the bar grenade, and here comes another self destruct from the thick of things. And Dink's gonna get two pretty clean here from the Diva. Jorn going for the speed boost as well. Gali gonna fall. The only one left is Scra, who's gonna be coming in from spawn as MMK wiped the floor of one and E one more time. Now they do have two ultimates and everyone is on fire today. MMK just on full cylindrical approach. Gonna be a V8 engine ready to roar. On the other hand, 1NE charging up their ultimates. And for the side of 1NE, they can go for the dry pushes, get as many ultimates as they can, and go for one last big fight at the end of the 1 minute and 10 mark. But they have already gotten two ticks. MMK giving up space and good picks overall from 1NE into the last minute. But this time, we'll see if the squad run from C can make this one happen. Dodge is now out in front. And there's the shadow now connecting all to three. Gonna pour, be forced out the trance from Gally and Scrog gonna respond in kind with his own stun. So both Sinyatas now tranced up. There's gonna be a nano boost on to the Zarya as well. Sambai right now coming on out from one NE. And the two supports just keeping it on, just cycling as much as possible to keep everyone alive. But MK waiting on Grafton Surge now coming on out from Sangla looking to catch up for. But there's the shatter one more time from Dodge this. He has been able to charge up his hammer so so quickly. And MMK just in full command of distance. For the side one and need, they need to go for the reset right now if they want to go for one more push. But all eight inches is just going soft right here. Can we see the diva just back on out, looking to try and stay alive? Billy guy, we're gonna get the stagger on. And this should be a decision for here from MMK. If they are gonna hang back and let the side of one and he get close to the point, or will they decide to play the aggressors and go on the outside? It is gonna be the former as they are waiting for the approach. And Scra gonna go for the charge. Self-destruct now into the back line gets absolutely nothing. So MMK gonna have one more fight, but Scra is the first to fall. Rebirth on the other hand, just looking to target up Chen Li, the Lucio, just hopping around, dodges his head, doesn't need aim. He has the hammer, makes it one round. Self-destruct now coming on out, and this should be the game. A team wipe here, Kurt of MMK and they get the win 2-1. to one. Victory. Play of the game going to Dinks and that was just a big bomb to say the least there. Just look at the timing here from Dinks and look how perfectly it lands on to Scraw. Just get so takedowns one by one, and that is gonna be the round. Gali though, popping the trance at some good timings there. As we are gonna see a quick little back off. It looks like the two teams 
Welcome guys to map number 4 in this round 5 open division matchup 1NE Gonna be on the blue squad Gonna be defending their first with Kuro into the game for uh, For their off tank position I believe Or are we gonna see some switches? Oh yeah all 8 inches already on that diva. So interesting Maybe Kuro their DPS specialist ready to go On the other hand here for MMK We are gonna see a dive composition with dodge this and Matt Chavin So Matt gonna be on the same role as Dinks Gonna be on that off tank and we'll see if they can make this one count so yeah, MMK hopping around right now, Redux won that with the Maker, Rebirth on the Ana and Joron on the Mercy. So will we expect a far potentially here from the side of MMK or will they absolutely just run it with the Widowmaker and the Tracer? It's gonna be pretty pretty vital here between these two squadrons as this match might be the last one here for 1NE and MMK. But Kuro gonna be a substitution here, I'm gonna be pretty excited to see what Kuro is gonna be bringing up to the table. As Asterion gonna be on that Brigitte still, so it's still a uh, triple support composition here for 1NE. Asterion gonna be picking up the shield as much as possible, and we'll see if the Brigitte can actually work with the dive composition in this one. So for the side of 1NE, it's gonna be the triple supports just protecting each other as much as possible, especially with Asterion playing the peel, forcing everyone to back on out from the Zen and Diana. A leap on in onto Matt Javelin and Dodge is gonna give pursuit. Bar grenade connecting onto two from the side of Galley. And this is gonna allow one any to top up as much as possible. Kuro though on the high ground, just having some fun, getting some shots out and charging up the dead eye. Things look pretty good here for one any as they are really gonna be stabilizing. But Matt Javelin now with a takedown onto Chen Lee. Here comes Billy going on the high ground, gonna back on out and just being a must, as much of a pest as he can be. Now all 8 inches going for as much shots as they can. Redux now with a shot on to Galley. Asterion gonna be there as now. Shield Bash now tossed on out by the side of the Brigitte. And Matt Chavin off the mech this time. But Redux on the point all by his lonesome. What was the Widowmaker even doing there? Here comes 1NE right now just cleaning up. Gonna be a post bomb though. Tossed out and Billy will be able to get two. The Tracer now able to pop off and pop heads. Looking for another one. Spots out the Lucia. A triple kill right now. Cour courtesy of MMK. And they do have to deal with the D.Va. A good call mech right there from all 8 inches and he gets a takedown on the Billy MMK faltering at that last one could have actually gotten the first tick there but unfortunately no one focused down onto the baby diva. Now we will see both squads back on out and MMK looking to regroup as much as possible as fast as possible and looking to get into the field of view as soon as they can. But there is going to be three ultimates now ready here for the side of 1 and E Redux and Rebirth ready with the Intersect as well as the Nana Boost. Going to be a sleep right there connecting onto Scrap and here comes all 8 inches on the high ground. MMK forced to back on out. Perfect buyer grenade tossed out by Galley one more time. Billy giving chase just sandwiching all 8 inches there. Very very dangerous spot there for the D.Va. Now the Tracer and the McCree facing off by the stairway, flashbang connecting, but Billy unable to get taken down by the McCree. Here comes the Nana Boost now, off the Billy, can he actually make this one count? Force bomb connecting, but doesn't get any takedown. Scrod though, with the kill, on the rebirth, a desperate Nana Boost there, honestly, from the side of MMK. We do see the Prime Rage available here for, this, for uh, Dodge this as well. And MMK now looking to go on the left hand side. Looks like MMK struggling to even make an impact this one, make a dent on the Bunny again. Looks like the Bonnie Blues here for MK just showing up one more time. On the other hand, Kuragali and Scraw ready with three ultimates just on the opposite side. Asterion popped the rally a while ago as well and has given the armor to most of his team. It has been good field play here from Asterion and Kura forcing MMK to back on out. An Ana boost now from Scra, and here comes the Prowl Rage is in hand one and he going for the punches as much as possible. And he, they're gonna try to get these takedowns with Scraw a little too. Close for comfort right now in that situation. Gonna back on out instead. Dodge is popping the Primal Rage as well. And he's just rampaging around the map. Billy now with a takedown onto Asterion. Dodge is really go. Gonna drop to the hand of all 8 inches. Who well, has been pretty clutch so far. Getting vital kills by the end of these fights. Scrado taking a quick little nap. And double sand bars now from both squads. MMK though just struggling now to make an impact again. They're trying to just scamper around the Lumbani. But it's just not working out in their favor. Redux all the way in the back. Gonna drop to the hand of Scrah. 
and this Winston able to show up today in this map. Self destruct now coming on out. A match happen, gonna get to, but will it actually be enough dodges on the right hand side? Jordan on the left, Billy now coming on in one more time, and all eight inches gonna get DMAC, but still has to self destruct, forcing the Winston to back on out. No, it's enough to get those two kills, all eight inches making that one happen, and Kuro with the dead eye. Again, another big bomb here. Good this time, it's from the side of one and E. This is gonna be them looking to tie things up and looking to take the win. MMK though might have a chance to get back to the point. Dodge is switching over to the Wrecking Ball. Matt Javin now stepping on, gets the overtime in time, but is gonna lose his mech in the process. Now the Baby Diva is trying to stabilize and Dodge is already taken out by the McCree. Focus Fire connecting on the Kuro and Billy gonna get that kill. Jorando gonna get stunned up. Asterion in a really bad spot gonna fall to the hand of the Tracer. Rebirth that out. Redux rather gonna drop and there's an Ana Boost on the Scraw. Can MMK make this one happen? The two supports onto the point trying to protect each other as much as possible. Billy taking a nap and Gali this has been so clutch today. Doesn't have the buy grenade however and is unable to secure the kill. Now Dodge this, gonna go for a pro proper rotation onto the point, Billy though gonna drop, and Dodge now gonna swing around and around, perfect sleep start this time from the side of Gally, and Jorn with the soundbar onto 3, Jorn now getting the DMEG, and looks like one enemy scampering back to the point, Dodge is now into the backline, and MK still going for this overtime, can they actually get the ca capture here, can he even get the tick, Asterion though popping the rally right now, gets the stun, stopping the ball in its tracks, it's like when the neighborhood bully just puts, pops your ball right there, and that's gonna be Asterion able to stabilize on the point. Scrado getting a takedown off the Jordan. Three kills going the way of one and eight, and things look good here for the C squad. Don dodges though, popping the mines, pops the head of Kuro. Billy, the only one left, and the tracer now off the point, and that's gonna be the round. Numbani full held here by the side of one and E, and they have such a good situation moving on to their attack. Zero. MK right now actually looking like mere mortals in this fight as they are full held by one NE. How did it go so wrong for MMK? It felt like they had a pretty interesting dive composition, even going for the Winston Diva with the Tracer. But I feel like one NE just had the perfect counter comp against MMK, and MK just didn't really swap. They didn't swap out of it. They played the Tracer to a full four minutes. Dodge this went on the wrecking ball way too late. And MK now gonna swap on over to a dive goats composition. So it's basically having a Winston instead of a Reinhardt. And you play it a little different using the nuances of dive over the basic standards of goats. But yeah, MMK just way too stubborn in that attack. Didn't swap out the tracer at all. Like he the tracer was able to get kills left, right, and center, yes. But it were it was at times that MMK could not capitalize in the first place. There was no peel really on the Widowmaker and the Ana. It has just been a struggle. It has been trades and MMK again just falling to a little bit of their usual comforts and just you know and just staying way too long in what they shouldn't be doing. But it was just a scattered effort overall here for the PH squadron. And 1NE just showing up today, especially with the substitution here of Kuro. Getting the shots on out with the McCree. And Scra and Gali. Gali actually showing up in 1NE's fight here on the Bonnie. So we're gonna keep an eye out on this Ana, and they are gonna go on the high ground looking to contest as much as possible. Dodges though, trying to go for a sneaky little peek, and he's gonna drop on down as he sees the book of 1NE ready in position. Asterion gonna be on the Genji, leap on in from Scra as well, and a perfect leap on the Rebirth. Dodges though, trading it out on the Chen Li, and these are trades one for ones for the side of both, but in the in the scheme of things, it has to be MMK going to the point. Billy right now catching out Scra, Kuro backing on out, Matt Javin with a takedown all the Kuro and all 8 inches backing on out one more time. So I guess everyone is just gonna go for the retreat as much as possible as 1NE will look for the reset. MMK able to just hold it back out slowly to the streets area and just the retreat there allowing them to stall for time onto the point using the diva as some bait. So MMK right now not really close to any ultimates besides one third left for that self destruct. On the other hand, here for the side of one enemy, it's pretty similar situation, but the dragon strike is in hand for Kuro. 
one any right now waiting for a opportunity to actually use the Dragon Strike to fruition. Matt Chavin giving Chase a little too vindictive here from Matt right now. And he's gonna be met by the Dragon Strike instead. Almost gets the demic right now, but MMK able to clean up onto two. Kuro just hopping along for the ride, and here comes the Hanzo getting the Storm Arrows to connect. Rebirth though gets a takedown onto Kuro. And I believe for the open division, you can't end on a draw. If you do end on the draw, we do need to play a tiebreaker map that's a little different from the map pool itself. So we'll see right now if MMK can actually draw this one out. It's gonna be happy thoughts all the way here for the PH squad. They know they can do this and they are playing a composition a little more comfortable for them in the first place. This is gonna make you feel better. But now MMK gonna be all the way in the back. Matt Javelin just tossing out the Gatling guns. Here comes a leap on in from Scraw one more time. And it's gonna be a graphon surge from Billy onto the high ground. But it doesn't lead too much. Scraw, of course, popping the Prowl Rage to stay alive and they get the rebirth of of Rebirth oh, in the first place. A Nana Boost now on to Kuro and the Hanzo ready to lose it. Those arrows ready to get those takedowns. Redux with the Shield Bash. And here comes the Blade. Both the Dragons ready to dance. And Asterion gonna get to a Prime Range pop from Dodges to go for a takedown. And Matt Chavin with a cleanup on Isle 12. Kuro and Chen Li both gonna fall all 8 inches with a counter kill on to Billy. Here comes Rebirth back into the fight. The Transcendence there keeping the side of MMK alive. So even after a pretty good blade there from Asterion, it's just not enough. Matt Chavin just able to clutch it out with the self destruct and we are gonna wait on for another attack here from the side of 1NE. And, e. and the Dragon Strike is in hand for Kuro and he's gonna go for the leap on in onto the bus. Match of and now on the high ground and we have the rally in hand here for Redux as well. So for MMK, they might want to group up beside their Brigitte and get a little bit of the advantage for the fight. Dodge is though on the right hand side getting the scout and here we go with the rally right now. Matt Chavin going for the push on in and here comes the side of 1 and E on the high ground. Dragon Strike now tossed by the Skyscraper and Dodge is gonna drop onto the floor. Dodge is just caught out there by the Diva and for the side of 1 and E, they're just dashing along. Astera now really low, gets a soundfire just in time but needs to get topped up as well. Kuro though with a takedown on to Billy, the Hanzo looking for another target. Storm Arrows connecting on to Matt Javin, but the Diva now gonna get the mech Dodge is switching over to the Wrecking Ball, and here he comes, swinging away at the fences, looking for another target and ready to go right round, right round. But here comes Asterion one more time, gets the blade just in time, looking for a target this time, spots out the Diva in the outside, and that's gonna be all she's wrote. Matt Javin just hopping along, Asterion still going for the Swift Strike. Here comes the Stealth Struck one more time, it does get rid of the Genji, and can MK actually hold this one? Both, stream, both teams struggling on the offense Scraw and Chen Li the only ones left all 8 inches still in baby diva mode as well and this can be one and he turning things around can they actually get the takedowns that they need MMK don't get the kill on all 8 inches a 2 for 2 trade one more time Scraw just staying on the right hand side and here comes the Hanzo one more time Redux though whip shot connecting the Winston still in this fight Scraw now leaping into the fight into the fray into the high ground but now he will fall Sandbire popped by Joran as well and for MMK just need to get rid of the Genji and we are gonna get a draw here on open the fourth map of the OG. So I'm just gonna consult the real rule book real quick on what's going on right now. Play of the game. So the rule set states if we get a draw, we need to play on a tiebreaker map. And this one is gonna be on Elio. So I'm just gonna coordinate with the two teams right there on what's gonna be happening. Matt Chavlin though, showing up with four gold medals. So welcome guys to the open division matchup between 1NE and MMK map number four. Tiebreaker over five. And it is still gonna be the OD round number five in this matchup we're just waiting on right now i'm pretty excited to see what these two no never mind they're gonna play goats <laughs> no never mind guys they're gonna play goats and the thing about this is if you don't practice a map especially something you didn't expect to play in the open division in the first place the best thing you can actually do is play the goats and when you play the goats it's something you have to a t in the first place yeah, welcome guys to Greece and I honestly feel like GOATS suits the map in the first place. Lighthouse, very very strong to run the 3-3 composition. Well is a completely different story though. It's a little dangerous to actually run this with all the boot potential. On the other hand, Ruins is pretty strong with the 3-3 if you're able to set, set up on the point. 
It's a little dangerous though, especially with all the aerial advantage on the ruins. But this is gonna be Goat Central here on Lighthouse. Gonna be a brawl in the hall, and that is gonna be the Lighthouse Hall ready to go for this fight. For the side of 1NE, it's gonna be the Brigitte here of Asterion versus the Brigitte of Redux. Matchup and, and all 8 inches gonna go for the mirror matchup. And they're gonna go for, for the point straight. Oh, 1NE now going to the point. Redux though, catching out Galley and things are good for MMK. The biggest problem there for 1NE was the fact that they were on a rush. It was way too fast for the side of 1NE and when you do that your support line just gets left behind there Gali was the first to fall to the end of Redux a good call from MMK speed boost in get rid of the Zenyatta and pretty much win the game outright so now the first capture here going the way of MMK we are waiting on if 1NE can go for the approach on a different corner and yes they are going through the dark side of the moon Scraw right now out in front all 8 inches gonna get booped off Matt Chavin almost taken down this corridor in full effect but unfortunately 1NE still Still unable to get the damage that needs to be done. Asteria now caught on his lonesome and he will fall now to the hand of the diva. MMK still waiting on as Billy is just getting as much energy as he can. On the other hand, Kuro right here, 100 energy to his name. And if 1NE can group up, this can be the opportunity to feed for them to do as much damage as they can. Scrod though, just hammering away at the wall. Here comes 1NE right now, going for the push on in one more time. Looks like Scrod out in front, close to the shattered, but Dodges has his own hammer down ready to go. Now he's going for the swing, looking for the bait play. And it's gonna be a small micro mistake from either side to just turn the tides in their favor. Kura now going for the dash on in, grabbing the surge, gonna get eaten up by the side of Matt Chavin, and here comes the bomb into the corner, gets absolutely nothing, but gets a shatter onto the barrier. Billy though, onto the floor, all 8 inches now, playing DPS, Gali with the Transcendence as well, and this is 1NE, still in this fight, albeit barely, and they are running out of time. So MK able to take the win as here comes Gali going for the reset. Kura now getting staggered as well. And this is gonna be a vital kill here for MK. Oh, 1NE actually gonna get out alive with the Zarya. I feel like that was a bad call by MMK. And Match Evan gonna get punished in the process. Dodge just decided to stop. Hammer time, and yeah, that just allows the diva to get taken out. A little miscom there from the side of MMK. Gravity the Surge now on to two. Bar grenade in full effect there from Rebirth as well. And dodges now Nana boost up. Gets a rally as well. Here comes the Shatter Temp, and there's the pin though coming on out from Scra. Back into the epicenter of the black hole. There is gonna be no kills. Gonna be a scamper onto the point. One and he trying to get the overtime just in time, but Rebirth will be able to get the kill onto the Reinhardt. All eight inches just hopping along like a bunny. And Chenley gets a boop onto Billy as well. Joran though, gonna get the same kind of situation self-destruct by the quarter all eight inches unable to get any kills galley though transcendence is up staying invulnerable keeping the heals going as much as possible all eight inches now getting the staggers on but he will fall and that should be the round here scrog getting a sleep dart to his name and mmk taking the first point on elios that look Really dicey there for MMK at the last part. One in E getting rid of Matt Javelin and getting the takedown onto that Diva allowed them to go for the push. That was a good situation there for one in E, but unfortunately, they were unable to capitalize on the Graviton Surge. It a pin from Scraw onto Dodges as well, not really reaping any rewards. And when MMK was in position to get back to the point, they were able to just do it with impunity. Now we are gonna see MMK actually play the 3 3 still on Ilya as well, and I really feel this is dangerous. No, Dodge is switching over to the Erisa, and who's gonna be playing the Road Dog? No one? No one? No, they are gonna go for the Road Dog here for Billy. So this is a 3 3 composition with. An Orisa Roadhog. I feel like this is like Dr. Frankenstein's monster right now as MMK is trying to force a goat with an Orisa Roadhog composition. The playstyle feels pretty off right now because when you play Orisa Roadhog in the first place, you are gonna have someone in the backline getting the damage. But Billy, of course, gets a hook onto the McCree and Kuro gonna fall along the way. So I guess MMK making this one work. Sleep Dart now connecting onto all eight. It just has to be a hook and both Roadhogs gonna fall into the abyss. Jorn and all 8 inches getting the environmentals there and MK now in control Scross stepping on gonna drop here comes Asterion swinging away with the mace but unfortunately Redux just has a little bit of a shinier one in that fight and now MMK looking to regroup and back to the corner of safety here it's like when it's like when you're a little kid and you just want to hide. This is pretty much the defense on Ilya as well. You hide in your own specific corner and you just shoot at your opponent, go for the hook or two, just drop them into the pool.
Now Joran is skating along onto the lighthouse area. Here comes one and he as well. Kuro though just facing off against Machav and being quite the pest on that diva in the first place. One any right now trying to make this work and Kuro now with a kill on to dodge this and that's the problem here for the side of MMK. They don't have anyone to burst down the barrier of the Orisa. On the other hand here for one and they have the McCree in the first place. Sub the though coming on to the center doesn't get much and that was really scary there for the side of one and E. MMK though needs to step on and it's gonna be a rebirth now hopping off to the side. Matt Chavin to the right hand side as well looking to go for the contest. Gonna get hooked up Billy with an attempt doesn't get one. Rebirth on to the left hand side as well and here comes the Nana Boost now on to the Wraith Roadhog. But the Orisa of Dodge just gets a halt on the Chen Lee. Billy now gonna drop Kuro just playing the McCree to a T and Dodge this just gonna be left to fend for himself. Can the Orisa stay alive? Doesn't get anyone and that's gonna be MMK giving up the point. So one ne right now finally getting to capture that they need here on this map. And the biggest deal here for one ne is again that McCree is gonna be the star of the show. Kuro just bursting out the barriers getting the takedowns that they need for the side of the C squad. On the other hand, here for Dodge this and Billy, they have the Supercharger as well as the Hull Hog ready to go. MK now looking to step on to the left hand side. Hook attempt there from all 8 inches. And the Red Squad of MMK going for the push on in. All 8 inches though with a really long range Hull Hog. I feel very counterintuitive. Doesn't really reap much rewards. The Red Team now going for the push on in. Redux though really low. Gonna drop to the hand of Asterion. But it's still gonna be MMK getting the capture. One any just giving up too much space, respecting their opponent a little too much. They need you need to step on them as soon as you can, like cockroaches. But anyway, it is what it is. MK now still contesting the point. Gonna be the standard Orisa standoff here between Dodge This and Scraw. The two barriers now bursting down. Hulk gonna be on the jar and gets a sound barrier just in time. But the hook does connect. But we do see the Lucian now just hopping along. Oh, big mistake there from Joran with that wall ride. And now all 8 inches gonna get the kill. And they do get the point back. 1 and E still in this fight. The real question is though for side of 1 and E is the, can they actually make this one happen? Gali now gonna get the DMEC onto Matt. Who's gonna go for the reset? MMK gonna decide to play this slow. They do just need to keep calm and just win one more fight to take the whole series here on Ilios. Again guys, this is a tiebreaker map because of the draw on Numbani. So whoever takes this one will take the point for Numbani in the first place. So MMK now marching on in. There's no way you can get a draw on control in the first place. Interesting barrier placement here from Dodge this. And Matt Javin now with the bomb. Perfect halt right there. But sadly, it doesn't get any kills. The group on in just doesn't work out. A 2 for 2 trade so far. Good hook there from Billy. But 1 and E still by the corner. Now here comes Redux now. Nana boosted up. Looking to go for the hot hand. Fan the hammer from long range. Actually burst down the barrier. Here comes the halt one more time. But unfortunately, no one there to capitalize on it. Dodge this has had enough. Gonna go on his signature wrecking ball goes for the transcendence here from Chen Li forcing it out perfect timing there from MMK now they do need to wait out the chance before they can get any kills so far Asterion again still on the Brigitte caught in a bad spot gonna get boop to the side and match having the Redux now with two one and he's still in spite however two for two trade one more time but Billy just launching the Orisa into the air and this might be MMK getting the flip on back here comes a nano boost and Zenyatta there trying to stay alive but all eight inches gonna get hooked to the other side he's gonna drop and it is gonna be Kuro right now switching over to the Wrecking Ball but he might just be not ball steep anymore dodge this Nana boosted up Asterion with the barrier as well here comes the Brigitte looking for the hook flashbang onto Kuro almost dropping the Wrecking Ball but here comes MK right now stepping onto the point getting this one done Mines now to the corner Scra able to go for the contest Chen Li forced to recall as he drops on down Gali gonna die to the hand of Redux as well and the only one left one more time is that Diva all 8 inches running out of space to work wave and this is gonna be the series MMK Taking the win 3 to 1. GG's all around and tiebreaker going the way of MMK. Play of the game going to Redux on that Brigitte. And kudos now to MMK for making that one happen. Ooh! So that's what happened. Uh, I thought it was gonna be it was a call from the side of MMK with a speed boost, but the whip shot. The whip shot from Redux connecting on to two big plays there from the side of MMK.